Hello, how are you today? These are curves. I think about 100 or maybe maybe 80. NURBS curves are called. Of course, there are no polygon curves in the 3D world. So how do we make them within a few seconds? The new scene. We go to curved surfaces here. You could use the modeling menu set and you find the same uh, commands up here. But uh, this is very convenient because we see what we're doing. These three things, uh, these three dots describe sort of an arc and that's what we'll click. Now we go to one of the orthogonal windows like this one. This is the front Z in this case and we press and hold the key X and then we place the first of three points. This is the first one. So we can release the X key now. Uh, we press and hold X again and we place it right here and we do the same thing right here. So and now we press enter so we've, we're finished with this result. Uh, since we won't modify it any further uh, and we're satisfied with it, we don't need the history and uh, which is the arc history. So we go to edit. We don't need to do this but uh, it's always nice to clean things up and we delete by type history. So the scene is totally lean now. Now let's scale it a little bit down. Press the insert key. The insert key gives us the pivot and we'll snap the pivot to this part of the curve here, to the end of the curve. We do this by just moving it sort of there and then we press and hold the key C for curve and then it sooner or later snaps here. You can see I slide it right here and now it's at the very end and I press uh, insert again and I'm fine. Oh, I did this because I want to later rotate it and I want to rotate it around this axis and not around the center. Okay, now we'll move it over here and go to the first frame of our animation. And uh, we press the key S, which means we set a keyframe. It's down here. It's in red. After 30 frames, which is a little bit more than a second, uh, I want the curve to be here. So I set another keyframe. And now I want to really take much time to rotate it around the axis and press and hold key J. J is snapping for rotating. I actually snapped it so it's rotated by 90 degrees now and here I set a new keyframe and then I go only a few frames further and move the whole thing all the way here very fast and then I take a lot of time to move it just a little bit over here and set the last keyframe. So it's a pretty trivial animation. Go to animation and visualize. And under visualize you have several things for visualization, for example ghosting, uh, which I showed in another tutorial or the animation snapshot. But we create an animation sweep and we need the option box right here because we want to set it to the time slider which is currently from 1 to 120 and by time means one instance per frame which would mean we have 120 copies of that curve that's a little bit much so make it let's make it every second frame for example and we leave the rest as it is and now we apply the whole thing and we reset the settings and close it. So when we hide the lofted surface now we get the curves I started this tutorial off with. In the modeling world you would create one of them, duplicate them, rotate them right here, duplicate it again and here's the final one and then you create a loft and basically that's what this command here visualize create animation animated sweep does for us more or less automatically and uh, it's not under modeling because it's a loft and loft already is under modeling it's this one here this icon um, 
and we don't need an, an extra loft here, but it's good for visualization because you see here that we have basically very nice distances and a very high density right here if we want to add detail in the curves, for example, or if we want to make the material stronger, if we go give this to a 3D printer, for example, here we are very loose, so we don't need detail here, but here we tell Maya to add more detail until it comes to a stop. We see quite a nice rain gutter here. Just finally, uh, let's open the section snapshot group. Here are all the curves. And of course, if you're satisfied with the surface, that surface here, you can delete all the curves. But uh, we can still use them now, for example, go f maybe to curve number 34, which is right here. Let's focus on it. And if we move the curve number 4 up, we get this kind of detail here in our rain gutter. We can do this with another curve as well. Let's pick that one and that one and that one. I can easily pick them in the outliner here and the pivot is sitting somewhere else quite distanced. So we get this kind of detail and keep in mind we did this whole modeling within a few seconds just using a simple animation and the create animated sweep command. Have a nice day.